how to transfer money from Shopify to bank account. Now, transferring money from your Shopify store to your bank account is a fundamental part of managing an e-commerce business. And it is really important to understand how this process works so that your earnings are accessible when you need them. Now, when a customer makes a purchase on your Shopify store, the payment is first processed through whichever payment gateway you have integrated. Most commonly, Shopify payments or ShopPay. Now, through third-party gateways like PayPal or Stripe, you can also get payments. And once the payment is confirmed and cleared, Shopify schedules a payout according to your account's payout schedule. And by default, Shopify payments will automatically deposit funds into your bank account based on the payout schedule you selected when setting up your payment gateway, which could be daily, weekly, or on a non-custom basis. Now, to make sure everything is set up correctly for this transfer to happen, you will need to log in to your Shopify admin and head over to your settings section. Now, once you open up your settings, you're gonna navigate to the payments area. Now, over here, you're gonna find your current payment provider configuration. Now, as you can currently see, I have no payment provider. Neither do I have any supported payment methods. And I'm gonna go ahead and discuss these as well. Now, first of all, what you're going to do is you can get shop pay over here. You're going to see an option to manage your payout deals. In this section, you'll be able to review the linked bank account where funds will be deposited if you haven't added a bank account yet or if you want to update it. Now, you can enter your bank account, you know, routing number and even your account type. It's essential that these details are accurate because even a small error can delay payouts or cause them to fail altogether. Now, it's extremely essential that these details are accurate because even a small error can delay payouts and cause them to fail altogether. Now, Shopify will often verify your bank account by sending a small test deposit or requesting identity fee verification, especially if you're setting this up for the first time. Now, over here, if we go to choose a provider, it's gonna give us many options, okay? Now, these are gateways. Now, you can add a bogus gateway for yourself, and what this bogus gateway does is it allows you to test your payment out. So basically, it's an escrow account that is totally bogus where you can go ahead and add your money and it will let you know if your money has been added. And obviously, you can get that money back because it is totally bogus and it is to simulate an approved transaction. OK, so you can either use this or what we can do is you can come back over to your third party payment providers and here you can get a lot of other details as well like stripe tap payment pioneer paymob pag brazil so whatever you know goes ahead and suits you you can choose that now most people use adian payments because they have a lot of different providers to work with okay so if you want to set up a payment from here you can simply go ahead and click on install and once you click on install, what happens over here is it will load you up to their application. Simply over here, click on install again. And what that does is it will create this account. So it says choose account type to link. Now you can only select a single merchant account to connect at a time. Additional accounts may be connected after the initial account is linked. So obviously this will depend on you on however you choose to work along with it. So let's say I wanna go ahead and get started with a test account you go ahead and click on get started and over here simply add in any username for yourself i'm going to go with this now it says if you remember your account go ahead and add that now if you obviously don't have an account you can simply go ahead and create one through adian's website Okay, so whatever provider you have, you are going to want to make sure to create an account with them. Now, in these cases, when you're going to have to create an account, you can go over to their website for online payments. Or what you can do is you can choose a provider with which you already have an account with. So in my case, I already have an account with Pioneer. So what I can do is just install Pioneer over here for myself. And once we install Pioneer, obviously it's going to take us to the whole login portal, the whole login page. And obviously it's going to require us to add our Pioneer account, our Pioneer card, etc. So I'm going to click on install and it's going to take me to the Pioneer checkout solution. So simply over here, go ahead and sign in with your Pioneer account. So once we come over to sign in, you're simply going to add in all your details. And once everything is done, it will fully integrate your 
Shopify to your Payoneer, and that obviously creates a payment gateway. So if anyone sends you payments, they're going to add themselves to their Shopify escrow. And what you can do is simply go ahead and schedule them from your Shopify to your Payoneer. And that is how easy and simple it is to create a third party payment gateway. Now, what you can also do is you can go to supported payment methods. Now, supported payment methods are different methods like let's go Alipay. OK, so I want a provider that gives me Alipay, right? So we have ping pong checkout, which allows us to use Alipay. And you can also use different methods according to yourself, obviously, according to whatever payment provider is worthy working for you. And obviously, it also depends on your region. But if your region is correct, like in the United States or the United Kingdom, this will also give you a PayPal option. And in the case you do want a PayPal option, what you can do is you can go over to your store general area and right about here, what you can do is you can change your store's actual location. OK, so what happens is you can go over to markets and right about over here, you can create an international market for yourself and add in any region that you want to. OK, so let's say I want to go with the United States, right? Now you can go ahead and create a market for United States. And once you do this, PayPal should generally be available to you. And in the further on case that it is not, just change your general billing address and make it set to the United States. And once this is done, just simply go ahead and add a few details. OK, and once we add a few details for ourselves, click on save again. And once you click on save, now that we have set our billing address to the United States, go over to your payments once again, and you're going to see the options are going to be changed now. So now you have Shopify payments and PayPal as well. So just go ahead and activate your PayPal according to yourself or your Shopify payments. And after your bank account is connected and verified, Shopify will handle the rest of the process for you. Each time an order is fulfilled and the payment has been cleared, Shopify will begin preparing a payout. Now you can go ahead and track upcoming and past payouts by paying visiting the payouts tab in your Shopify payments or your admin dashboard and each entry will show the date of the payout. Now the total amount and the orders included in that payout will also be seen and you will also see a status indicating whether it's pending in transit or already deposited. And if you're using a third party payment provider like PayPal, the process involves logging into your PayPal account, locating your available balance and then initiating a manual transfer to your bank account. Now each platform has its own timeline and procedures and obviously you're going to want to work according to those. Monitoring your payout schedules, understanding the processing time and familiarizing yourself with how each provider handles withdrawals will empower you to maintain control over your business cash flow and keep operations running smoothly. So that is pretty much all there is for this video. If you enjoyed, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing all of you in the next video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.